What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we're taking you out fishing. Got my good buddy, Wes, along for the ride. Gonna head out on Chickamauga and see if we can catch some of these fish. Come along, should be a good day. So should be a lot of fun today. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. As you can see, we got chocolate milk. Had a big old storm come in uh, the last two nights. Kind of blew out the river, blew out the back of creek pockets. Um, but these fish should be full-blown spawn. Got the big moon in the sky. So um, gonna go gonna go shallow, throwing some reaction stuff, some swim baits, some chatter baits. Uh, might have to break out the wacky rig Senko, drop shot, that sort of stuff. Uh, won't be able to look for these fish today because it is so murky, but it should still be a lot of fun. swim bait eater nice way to start the day eating the mag draft thanks dude come on he got it thanks bud <laughs> drifting up onto the dock but uh, Kind of our thought process, Matt, or Wes and I, Matt, Wes and I were, were talking just uh, with that big storm coming in, a lot of things are blown out. All the backwaters are blown out. But we know with the moon phase and everything that these fish should be up shallow, doing their thing, uh, definitely staging to do their, their spawn. So uh, kind of one-two punch. I'm up front, I'm throwing a swim bait, big bait, and uh, Wes is in the back, he's throwing um, throwing a Senko, uh, underspin, drop shot, just kind of one-two punch. It's always nice when you can have two guys throw different things, kind of dial in a pattern quicker. But uh, we're gonna try and cruise some of these backs of these pockets and just uh, just cover some water and hopefully come across a big one. But that's a, that's a decent start on the swim bait. Wes is on the board. Oh, huge fish on the drop shot, but hey, we're on the board. Wes is on with another one. Giant bass back in the back. Woohoo! So we are now three for four on our stops. Granted, they're not giant. Uh, one good one on the swim bait, but um, we're just checking the backwaters and just fishing the obvious stuff off the main river, uh, and it seems to be holding fish. Again, these fish. That was obviously a buck, you know, should probably garden a bed. So a lot of times when you're fishing, you want to make the same cast because maybe now he can go and catch that larger female if, if she is there on a bed. But uh, we're just covering the shallows, looking at the obvious stuff. Obviously we can't see with that, how dingy and, and blown out the river is, but, um, but uh, so far three for four on our first four stops.
off fast, though. It might be a bed. <laughs> oh, got me again. That's what I wanted to leave right there. So that's what I'm talking about. That is definitely a bed fish. Can't see at all. But that fish ate it. This was the third time I cast into it. Um, finally ate it. And he got it good. But uh, you don't always have to see them to catch spawning bass. But uh, that guy right there ate the old June bug T Max shaky head. Less than two feet of water. Pretty cool. My Senko. No, 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 no. Come here. <laughs> Another one up super shallow. Ate that uh, Senko. Wacky rigged. That one I could actually see. Thanks, dude. Uh, the stump up there. Just uh, the single piece of cover up there in this the back of this bay uh, threw that weightless senko up there and hopped it a few times and he was on it i think that's our limit fish Is that five we got five now we need some kickers yep. <laughs> show you something. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys. So, just got cracked. Swung and miss. What the size of the scale <laughs> on the 8 inch mag draft? You know those bites you wonder, you're like, Hmm. Is that a bite? Is that bottom? Whatever. Oh. Oh, Wes is hooked up. Come on up here. Come on up here. You got a good one? You know this drop jet rod? Yeah. You know if you need to grab the net. Oh, that's a nice one. See if he's got a scale missing. Yeah. <laughs> Go forward. I'll get off the camera. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> nice one on the drop shot. Probably uh nice fish, man. Yeah, we missed him. That's the one we missed. No scales. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. So the world's bigger. It's still over. There. So I missed Mama. Yeah. 
I you think that was mama. daddy. Yep. I think I missed mama. We'll have to pay pay that fish a, another visit later in the day. But we're gonna go make another stop, make another run down river. And uh, this was stop number four. I told you that stop number four, we are three of four. In here, we just caught three, four? Four in here? Pretty good. All right guys, I think this is uh, stop number five. Kind of bummed that I missed that big one on the on the big swim bait. Uh, we have a, a decent limit, but uh, gonna be throwing the big bait now from now on uh, and try and get a couple kickers. But uh, it always sucks when you get that big bite, get the bite on the big bait and, uh, and you don't stick them. But uh, got the added scales for bonus, which kind of sucks. But anyway, so we're gonna fish another, another backwater few boats back here we're gonna fish our way through again we're just kind of tag teaming it fishing I'm fishing reaction and Wes is doing a good job cleaning up back there with the uh, with the finesse he's the finesse uh, drop shot master taught me how to throw a drop shot but uh, anyways guys hope you're enjoying it we're gonna throw some throw some big baits Two of these in a day? Oh, I got it. Get the hook out. Oh, these docks are so much stuff underneath them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, I yeah, doom. Oh, my. Oh. I wonder why they have crossbars everywhere. Number two. Holy cow, that worked. <laughs> Got me. Osprey number two down the drain.
on the drop shot bass. Finesse seems to be the deal today. You know, we've had, I caught the one early on the mag draft and then missed that other one, got the scales on the uh, bigger mag draft. But other than that, we've caught them on Senko, a shaky head, a drop shot. Definitely seems to be a, a finesse type of day. I don't know if it's because it's just the kind of slick calm and, and uh, bluebird skies or what, but definitely seems to be uh, finesse seems to be working the best, but i um, going to keep throwing the swim baits and hopefully catch one. Probably wrap this video up pretty soon, um, but uh, yeah, let's keep chucking. You don't hear very many up here. You hear once in a while. Huh? Oh, I heard one here. I heard one at Lake of the Pines one. Oh, yeah, you told oh, me that. Yep. I don't think about throwing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about pitching there for like a knot with that spinning rod. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you throw it on the bait caster. Yeah, exactly. Nice one. Eating the drop shot. Thanks, dude. That's fatty. It's funny, I thought about pitching there. I'm like, dang. You're like, oh, no, like, not with the light line. Yeah, not with eight pound tackle. I don't think I can get him out. I don't know if you heard Wes, but he was like, yeah, I thought about making that cast, but you know, he's throwing it on spinning gear, light line. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you a little bit through my setup. You see, I'm throwing it on a, on a bait caster. This is actually a six foot 10 extra fast Croy, but more importantly, I'm throwing it on a three aught cover shot hook. And then with a tied weight, uh, 12 or 16 pound fluorocarbon I'm power shotting, so I can I can hook that fish and get it out of that heavy cover. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, threw in there at the base of that tree where it came, comes into the water, and uh, that good fish ate it. So I was able to get hook that fish, get it out, and then uh, and then boat flip it. Not bad with a drop shot. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, but uh, another fun day out on the water with my buddy Wes. Um, he caught quite a few, got some good ones on the drop shot. Definitely seemed like uh, the finesse bait was the way to go today. Got a couple bites on the uh, on the swim bait. Caught that one uh, nice fish. Oh, these are all tangled up. Let me untangle these real quick. Uh, caught that one nice fish uh, on the uh, this guy right here. That six inch mag, mag draft. What's cool about the six inch is you can swim it at multiple speeds and it stays, it runs true, it looks good. Uh, you know, the bigger mag drop, you kind of kind of have to fish it quite a bit slower. Um, and with the depth that we are fishing today, we were fishing the very backs of these pockets, you know, with that belly hook, it was getting a lot of, a lot of muck and, and just snagging up quite a bit. So uh, the six inch did have that one that one bite on the eight inch and just came back with the scales. But uh, another cool bait, like I said, it's just um, the, the depth that we were fishing today in the backs of these cuts was really shallow. So it was really hard to throw that heavier, bigger bait in that shallow, shallow water. But uh, then you guys saw me skipping that six inch Osprey. Unfortunately, I lost two of those today. I don't know what it is with these docks out here. In Tennessee but they all seem to have lines or ropes or cross beams or whatever so you got to be really really careful uh, when skipping docks out here but uh, lost that one so I don't have that but this is the rest of the lineup that I brought today the burrito you guys know this bait this is that uh, well it's Buka's bait now uh, doing the burrito that thing kicks so much it's you can almost feel it like a like a bladed jig like a chatter bait when you're fishing it and then as far as the glide bait through this quite a bit. I don't think I had, did I have one bite on this? I think I had one bite on this. Yeah. S waiver one, uh, 200 in the uh, Warden color. Um, flashy swimmer. I'm gonna show you guys this. <clears throat> this is a flashy swimmer, or this is a 4.8 Kitek, but I have the flashy swimmer on, the, on there, but I took the blade off and I actually put um, a Nichols custom blade on there I'll link that below in the video description but uh, really really impressed with these blades I think Matt talked about them recently in his spinnerbait video um, 
he didn't know that I'd already ordered some and uh, was playing around with them on uh, underspins. But uh, but yeah, really cool. A lot more flash. Just wasn't the deal today, but I know it's going to work in the future. Just just upsizing that blade a little bit, getting a little more thump and flash. And then a couple more rods for you. Oh. Weightless Senko, five inch wacky rig. Caught one on that. Shaky head. I don't know how many fish we caught today. Maybe 12 or, I don't know, 10, 12, 15, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, shaky head. Again, I, I rigged all my stuff on a bait caster. Wes was doing all his damage on a uh, spinning rod, right? Yep. Yep. And he was throwing uh, Robo Worm, six inch straight. You know what the color? I think Aaron's it's morning. Aaron's Morning Dawn, that pinkish, uh, pinkish color. I think it has a little bit of red flake in it, but that seemed to be the deal. Again, the, the shaky head, the weightless Senko, just slowing down. Um, like I said earlier in the intro, with the, the moon phase, the weather, the water temp, these fish are trying to spawn. So that's why we really focused on the backs of these uh, spawning bays. You know, we can't see, water clarity is not very good, um, but you, you'd flip into an area and you did it, did it, did it, you're like, oh, that's a bluegill. And on the third, second, third, fourth cast, dunk, and you'd finally catch the fish. But, um, and then that big mag, mag draft, I think he caught a male, and I think I had a shot catching the female, but, uh, is what it is all in all great day a few hours out on the water i don't know five or six hours out on the water uh got to run around hang out catch some fish thanks for coming along guys if you guys have any questions please leave them down below in the, the comment section i will try to get to those as soon as possible uh, just like every video i'll link all the different products and colors and all that good stuff down below in the video description but as always guys thanks for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video